Hi there, Joka here. And today I'm sharing two videos with uh, some new collections uh, for Spellbinders. This one is called uh, Serenade of Autumn. And there's a lot of pieces in this collection. Um, there's that wax seal, then there's a sunflower die set, which is this one. It's only a few pieces, so um, it's easy to die cut. Then there is a sentiment die set that comes with um, well quite a few sentiments plus their shadow die and um, so there's thankful grateful for you happy birthday best wishes i think and thank you or did i say that already and then there is this um a, a few of these leaves full uh, type of leaves and a flower the ones uh, you know those types that you can use with the wax seal easily then this collection also has some um, ready-made embellishments like that um, beautiful crystal dots then uh, a bunch of um, vellum this this pack contains three different designs and all have two um, so it's three times six, uh, three times two uh, sheets. Then there is the uh, pattern paper pack, which I was really actually looking forward to use. But then <laughs> I started die cutting and I ended up with completely different colors that did not fit these papers at all. So I will have to use these sometime in the uh, future but you can see that they are beautiful full colors then there is this gorgeous embossing folder this one is actually not from the, this collection i'm gonna read this quickly from my phone because i will not remember it's called basket of sunflowers from the birds and bees garden collection by susan tierney cogburn this is also a new collection but I don't I don't have it I just have the embossing folder and that's actually a slimline uh, 3d embossing folder which I am going to use together with uh, this autumn collection because it already has some flowers and that's going to be my main fo uh, focus today uh, all the sunflowers so I am um, going to show you one of everything how how I put together all the pieces so the sunflower here um, as you can see I layered two of those pieces together and then just one of uh, this top layer um, but then this is sturdy and I can add um, foam tape to it and from the flower I actually die cut three I thought two will be enough but as you can see I had empty uh, spaces on one side no matter how I turned um that shape so actually i i found that three layers were the the perfect um number at least for me and now i'm going to emboss this um beautiful design that you can see here um i actually trimmed it off in the end so that i have a little bit of a uh, frame a white frame around it on my card and with this paper i'm going to use the other embossing folder and i mean i really didn't need to center it this much because then i'm going to cover it so nobody's gonna <laughs> see that circle in the middle i was thinking about um cutting that out fussy cutting that circle out and then covering uh that with uh vellum um maybe you can create shaker cards um as well but then i just uh created more simple cards because um yeah i was kind of lacking time you know i had like two days uh, to create with these collections and I in fact have another two collections um, that are new today but unfortunately I didn't have time I hope in the next days I will be able to at least with the Marianne Bright because that's a really small collection um, and I already started die cutting the pieces let's see um so slimline cards I'm uh, creating here and um, I decided to create like a and well what I'm showing here is that I uh, added two layers of the 
um, what is it called, stem, just so that it's uh, nice and sturdy. And also one of the papers that I use is pretty thin, so it just didn't look good. Um, so all of my leaves actually have two layers. And I'm creating a, an elongated type of design here. Um, no rhyme or reason, just whatever felt um, nice to my eyes. And then I'm going to start gluing everything down. And sometimes I have to trim off the ends so that everything fits um, together better. And there is um, well, this piece here. I don't know what it's called. Um, this you can actually use two colors for because it has a backing piece as well. So I utilize that option just to make it um, a bit more special. Then, um, yeah, this poppy, I don't actually know if you call it poppy, we call it poppy, um, or the Hungarian equivalent to it, because it is the poppy, um, you know, the one that has the opium <laughs> inside. Um, but I don't know. Um, I, I, but I think that's what it's called in English as well, right? Uh, the flower and also the, this one is called poppy. Um, anyway, so um, I don't really have anything much else to say about this one. Um, I had to cut apart the third flower because it had a bit of a long neck, so to say. So I cut it apart so that I can place the flower in a different spot on that stem. And I will add some foam tape to that uh, large, well, it's actually called a sun sunflower, right? But it's, in my case, it's just going to be, I don't know, maybe a Gerber, a daisy or something. I don't actually know if they come in this color, but you know that it never bothered me if my colors were not realistic. So um, that design is kind of done. And then I created a few um, sentiments exactly the same way. I die cut the shadow um, three times from the peach. No, not the peach, sorry. Uh, the barely peach cardstock. And um, I used gold metallic cardstock for the... Um, outline layer not outline you know that top layer and um they are quite large those sentiments so for one of my cards i actually die cut happy birthday but it just didn't fit it was way too big so um for that one i probably would have needed to cover my cards a bit less so uh you know <laughs> otherwise they are just there's just no space for it. Um, now, I wanted to create an A2 card here, but then I just couldn't. <laughs> I went with this. So this one is an A2 panel, and um, I'm going to place this on a, a larger base, a 5 by 7 inch base. And just so that I actually add uh, or use vellum, I... Um, trimmed a piece that's going to go behind my A2 panel. So you will only see it on the sides. Basically, it's just going to be framing my green uh, panel. And I don't know about you, but I do find vellum really hard to find glue for. In fact, I've never, I've never found glue that is going to uh, hold it in the long uh, run so I'm just trying to use the ones that I trust most and that's my double-sided um, adhesives so I am gluing this um, not in the middle uh, I'm trying to uh, to leave um, like a bit of a space at the bottom so I can add my sentiment there and then I'm gonna create some floral design on this panel first of all this is what I was planning to do kind of like a, a grid pattern but then I didn't like I didn't like what that looked like somehow um 
it just felt empty. You know that I like to overdo things. I like to cover everything in flowers. So I die cut some more of those smaller flowers and I'm going to just um, fill up the, the the spots that felt empty to me. So basically this is why I said that it was kind of useless to even emboss that panel. I guess it would have worked with just, uh, you know, a piece of paper. It does add some texture, but you cannot really see much of it. So um, first of all, I am uh, gluing down the leaves and uh, I'm adding the sunflowers with uh, foam tape so that they stand out a little bit and then I'm, I can place the smaller flowers behind or like under uh, the, the petals here. And those are actually three different colors, the small flowers. Um, you might not be able to tell in this light, but they are three different darker corals. One, one of them is actually like a pearl type of finish. Um, and these ones I'm just gluing down with uh, liquid glue. And then I will still have some empty spots, uh, mostly in the corners, in the, in the two corners where the three flowers are. So I will die cut some extra leaves and fill up those um, spots with leaves. And then the card is going to be pretty much done. I was thinking about filling up um, empty spaces with... Um, Remember those gems that I showed in the beginning? Um, but then I didn't quite like that look. So instead I just uh, die cut the extra leaves and um, I'll add that. And first clean up the edges like always and then I glue them in space or place. Um, yeah, and then this card is almost done. I'm just going to create the sentiment. And because I kind of raised that panel with uh, foam tape, I did not have enough space down there to add my sentiment just with glue. So I'm raising these as well so that they come over the vellum if 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 that makes sense so some part of the letters will you know be uh, uh, over the vellum like the h and the t and the b so um that was the reason i added the uh foam tape otherwise i could have just used liquid glue as well so i kind of center that as best as i can just eyeballing it so it's probably not perfect but um, it's good enough for me and then um, I was gonna use the wax seal because I never do but then I remembered something I have this product um, from earlier this year and I never used it um, this is uh, like a full um, what's it called wax seal basically and then uh this one is a, a full twine sort of thing so um i cannot even say that for those of you who are lazy like me because this also takes probably the same amount of time to create as the wax seal but for me it was more practical because i did not have to pull out uh, my wax steel uh, box and also i did not have space on my uh, desk so for me this was more practical to create and i actually you know if if i can choose die cutting i will always choose die cutting over any other techniques so this is the little faux seal and i am adding two layers of the this faux twine as well just so that it's you know um sturdy I don't have another word for it. And then I'm cleaning because this is um, these are really thin lines. So the glue, even if I tapped it off, 
at the depth of the access, even then there's going to be some um, access glue there. And you can actually, if you place these two together, it's uh, it, it would cover a slimline uh, card. So it's larger than eight and a half um, inch a little bit large, like eight and three quarters so it's quite big I'm not gonna obviously I'm not gonna need it all but uh, you could basically use it on a slimline card so I created this pa um, panel that um, I added an extra layer of heavyweight cardstock to so that it's sturdy because in fact I thought that I would wrap that thing around it, but then I realized, of course, I don't have to because it's paper. I can just cut it off. I can glue it, glue down the edges and cut it off. Um, now, this one, what I was trying to show you there, uh, the stem is actually half this size. So I uh, glued two together because I needed uh, my stem to be longer. Um, and I'm covering up where I glued them together with the leaves and um, I added a sunflower to the rest of the leaves that came in the in this die set and I'm just uh, creating a bouquet with um, all those elements and then I will add the seal at the bottom and you could obviously create uh, the real deal, the real wax seal. I actually didn't even check if there's uh, colors that match my color combination, probably because at this point there's so many colors. And the wax seal that comes with this collection has a sunflower in it. Oh, and my other reason for using the full seal was that that has sentiment options and I could not figure out where to put my sentiments um like I said I die cut happy birthday it was way too large I couldn't place um I I don't know happy at the like the top birthday at the bottom it just didn't look right so I was happy to use that full seal with the sentiment already in it um, yeah, and I, I mean, this is again a really simple design, but I think it's uh, so special with that uh, full seal. Again, such a great idea from Spabinders. I really like this. So um, I'm adding some foam tape here because I have a, a bunch of those stems uh, that create dimension, and then I will glue the um, that little circle part on top and I will add some glue to the side where I will trim off the excess here. I don't know why I thought I would need to wrap that around. <laughs> um, yeah, and then the panel is done and I will just add it to my card base, which is again five by seven inches and then I pull out the you see that was the sentiment that I was trying to add but it was just way too big um and then I pull out these gems I don't remember what they are called and then guess what this is actually where I realized that I use the same colors <laughs> I'm not kidding you only the one color from that sheet is not uh, matching my color combination but the rest is perfect and here I am coming back to my slimline card because I did not add the sentiment yet. And why you see me adding extra glue, double-sided adhesive, because it seems like the last bit of my foam tape is not so sticky. And I was a bit um, worried about it, to be honest, but I didn't want to throw it away. So... Um, I don't know. So far, I never noticed that it, it it was not sticky. So I hope it's just this part of it. And then um, I, I'm adding one part above the center of, central flower and one below it. And I will embellish it with a few of these dots. They actually have gold in them. So it's perfect with my gold sentiment as well. 
I love this. Years ago, I used to use this type of um, embellishment so much. I still have a lot of them. So uh, here you have the finished cards. I hope I could give you some ideas how to use this uh, collection. By the way, the collection actually has a lot more pieces that I did not have. It has a lot of better press um, um, sets. So check it, check it out. It's a huge collection. This was just uh, part of it. Thank you very much for uh, hanging with me. I hope you um, watch the, the other video on the channel today. And I'm going to try to come back with the other collections in the next days as well. Thanks again and have a good day. Bye-bye.